Well, let's cover a whole lot of stuff. We're going to do cuts, we're going to do unbends, we're going to do patterns, all now. So this is the sheet metal part that we were making in the last video. And what I'll do is delete this flange. I don't really need anything associated with it. And let's talk about adding features today, right? Maybe we'll want to have some cooling features if this is going to house something that's hot. And so I'll start a sketch on this face and let's work on making a vent here. I, I'm choosing a vent because it's kind of a common feature, many ways to make it. And I'm going to choose just one of many ways that a vent can be made. And what I'll do first is make these two lines in a V configuration. I'll make these equal here. And then I'll go with an angle. And I'll say that uh, we want to go a fifth of the way around, right? So I'll say 360 degrees divided by 5. And then I'll make sure that the points of my lines are horizontal. Next, I can get this point to be something like 2.5 horizontally away from the origin, vertically. I'll go with something like 1.75. Maybe I can give this a distance of something like one. I'll make an arc and I'll have my arc center be vertical from the tip of my V here. And I can choose coincident and get my arc completely coincident just like that. Maybe I'll choose a distance for my arc center to be off of the V and I'll say something like 0.1. And finally, I'll give this a radius, maybe 0.2. I'll draw a few arcs. Just like that. Now, in the interest of time, I won't fully constrain this more, but uh, if you're doing anything serious, it is always advised to fully constrain uh, what you can. So with that out of the way, let's trim here and here. And of course we lose a little bit of constraints, just like that. So we'll assume that this is what we wanna go forward with. We'll assume that we fully constrain this if this were a serious project. But in the interest of time, we won't, and we'll deactivate the sketch. From here, I'll simply go with cut. And we can cut our sketch out much like it's an extruded cut. And we'll say OK to that. Next, all I have to do is circular pattern. I have five instances here. And I'll adjust my center to be the center axis of this face. And you can see probably a pretty common sheet metal feature, something much like a fan vent. Now, let's say that we also wish to have some cooling uh, vents over here. Uh, how might we get a cooling vent to be on both this face and on this face? Be kind of hard to do the way that it is. But fortunately, Alibre makes this pretty easy with the unbend feature. I can choose this as a fixed face, one that I do not wish to move. And I can either select all bends, which allows me to unbend my part like it's a flat pattern, or I can choose individual bends as well. I can simply select whatever bend I think is right and say OK. From here, I can start a sketch on this face. And perhaps I'd like to have a auburn shape. I can change my Y length to about 0.25. Uh, perhaps my other length, I'll make it 1.5. Just like that, maybe right there. And then I can choose an array. We'll change our pattern angle to be about 90 degrees. We'll change our pitch oh, to be 0.35. We'll change our number here. And maybe I'll change that to be 270, so we'll go in the right direction. All right, so we've got some vents. We'll say apply, close, and of course, in a serious uh, situation, be sure to fully constrain these, and then we'll deactivate the sketch. We'll do another cut. And once we've made our changes that we wish to have, we can always rebend and simply select all unbent ends. 
And there, we were able to make a great cut that doesn't affect the integrity of our sheet metal. So that's a lot of stuff we've just covered, but there's even more in the next video.